Now, is it possible that there's a new strain of COVID floating around that's very, very deadly? Well, there's three very, very important points I want to make. Number one, there is not a new strain of COVID floating around. There's a new variant, okay? Or you can say mutation. is not the same as a strain. A new strain has almost a different structure. A variant has only slight tiny changes that occur. And you should also know that if a virus changes just slightly, it doesn't necessarily change in function. And there's absolutely zero evidence that this new variant is more pathogenic than the original variant. Now, the next point is, then why is it seem to be spreading more in other countries? That is because it's winter. And you ever notice when you're out in the cold that your nose starts running? You may sneeze a little bit more. You might cough a little bit more. And if you are infected, those fluids can be transmitted easier because there's more fluids coming out of your body. Not to mention lower amounts of vitamin D. And I'm sure you know this, but vitamin D is probably the most important vitamin for keeping a strong immune system. If you're deficient, you are going to be a lot more susceptible to getting this virus. Last point is this point right here. COVID-19 is genetically stable. It mutates at a much slower rate than influenza. The variations occur uh, maybe one to two times a month, okay? So it's actually pretty slow. And so the next time someone tells you about this deadly strain that's spreading around the world, correct them and educate them that there's a big difference between a variant and a strain. Thanks for watching.